no third country has uh, has a veto over NATO's membership decisions. Uh, Ukraine, uh, as you heard me say earlier, has a right to decide uh, its own future foreign policy, and uh, and you know, we expect that they will be able to do that uh, without any outside interference. Uh, and finally, I, I would say that uh, our support for Ukraine's sovereignty uh, is unwavering. And again, we'll continue to work together with our partner to make sure that the right things are in place uh, to ensure that uh, Ukraine can defend itself and protect its territories. U.S. support for Ukraine's sovereignty and ter territorial integrity is unwavering. So we again call on Russia to end its occupation of Crimea, to stop perpetuating the war in eastern Ukraine, to end its stabilizing, uh, destabilizing activities in the Black Sea and along Ukraine's borders, and to halt its persistent cyber attacks and other malign activities against the United States and our allies and partners. Since 2014, the United States has committed more than $2.5 billion to support Ukraine's forces so that they can preserve their country's territorial integrity and secure its borders and territorial waters. Today, the minister and I also discuss ways to promote deeper regional cooperation among our Black Sea allies and partners to deter Russia's destabilizing actions.